In our monthly checkup, we're talking about cancer, what you need to know, how common cancer is, how you can reduce your risk of developing cancer, and how you can work with your provider to determine what cancer screenings are right for you. Joining us today is New Hampshire State Epidemiologist, Dr. Benjamin Chan. Hi, doctor. Thanks for Good being afternoon. with us today. My pleasure. Let's first start with just telling us what we need to know about cancer in general. Mm -hmm. so, so cancer is a general term used to describe a group of diseases where there are abnormal cells that divide without control in the body and they go on to spread and invade other tissue and cause disease. So many people think of cancer as sort of one disease, but in fact it's actually a diverse group of different diseases. Um, it, there have been over 100 different types of cancer identified, and they're all named based on sort of where they arise and what types of cells uh, they arise from in the body. Now, it's important to understand, though, I think, that each type of cancer has its own risk factors and causes associated with it. So, for example, ultraviolet light is a known cause of skin cancer. Uh, tobacco smoking is a known cause of lung cancer. Uh, and so on. A and, then the, and, and then there are cancers that don't have any identifiable cause and just occur sporadically. Okay. How <clears throat> common is cancer? So cancer is actually the leading cause of death in New Hampshire and is the second leading cause of death nationally. It's been estimated that about one in four deaths are attributable to cancer, both in New Hampshire and nationally. And the National Cancer Institute has estimated that upwards of 40% of people in the U.S. will develop some form of cancer at some point in their life. So unfortunately, cancer is common. Now, cancer also occurs as people age, so older populations will see higher uh, numbers of cancer. Uh, cancers. Um, screening can detect more cancers. So in populations like in New Hampshire where we have higher screening rates, there will be more cancer identified. And, and so it's not uncommon for people to know others in their community that are affected by this. Okay. Um, what can we do to reduce our <clears throat> risk? That's, that's, we all want that, right? That's the big question. And yeah. there are certain risk factors that uh, people can't control, like age and gender, uh, genetics, family history, but there are some steps that people can take to uh, prevent and avoid cancer. So tobacco smoking, as an example, is the preventable leading cause of cancer. Now, smoking uh, is a risk factor not just for lung cancer, but it's a risk factor for bladder cancer and kidney cancer, uh, liver and pancreas cancer, and a number of different gastrointestinal cancers. So smoking is really bad for you. And yes. so if people smoke, they should be talking with their healthcare provider about quitting. Uh, we also have resources at the state level. Um, there's a quit line people can call 1-800-QUIT-NOW for assistance. Um, obesity and poor diet also we know contribute to some, form of, some forms of cancer. So we generally recommend people maintain healthy lifestyles or physically active, um, eat diets high in um, vegetables and fruits and whole grains and limit the amount of meats they eat. Um, and then finally, uh, screening. You know, there are some cancers that can be screened for, and so individuals should talk to their healthcare providers about you know, their age and their risk factors and what uh, cancers they may be appropriate to be screened for. Dr. Chan, thanks so much for that information. We really appreciate it. My pleasure.